sleepapnea.org presents Portraits, Living with Sleep Apnea, a conversation with Stacy Tinyanov. Stacy, tell us, what would you say your role is? So I am a patient advocate. I um, am a cancer survivor, and I work at a company called Citizen, and we are helping to empower cancer patients with their own health data. Um, so just came here to talk about the power that individuals have uh, to request, access, and then use their own data to, to drive research. Is patient advocacy very specific from field to field? So as a patient advocate in the cancer space, um, I think that there's a lot of similarities in the oncology advocacy ecosystem and the, and the apnea uh, ecosystem. Um, first and foremost, you've brought together a very engaged population um, and a population that wants to change the narrative, change the status quo. Uh, in the cancer space, we rally around tumor-specific types of cancer, and what we're realizing is we need to kind of bring the larger group together. One of the things that just continues to strike me about sleep disorders and, and this community is how pervasive sleep disorders are and how, um, how connected they are to other disease communities, um, diabetes, cancer, um, just everything. And just hearing people's stories and, and seeing, um, seeing, that, seeing those connections has, has been really striking. Are we taking sleep and its impact on health seriously? The idea that, that everybody sleeps and the idea that in the health community, in our daily life, we're told that you know, eight hours of sleep is, is critically important. Um, there's such a dichotomy between hearing that and, and people saying that and then our ecosystem actually supporting that. So I live and work in Silicon Valley, and really the, you know, the measure of, of an employee and the value of an employee, unfortunately, sometimes is the amount of hours that they spend at work, or you know, the fact that you're emailing at 2 in the morning or responding to something at you know, 11 p.m. at night. And so while we say sleep is important, I think in practice, um, we, we actually don't create an environment that supports that. How has the Awake Together Summit benefited you? Personally, for me, the benefit of, of attending this conference has just been to learn more about sleep disorders. Um, you know, as an example, I didn't know that reflux um, and sleep disorders were, uh, were connected. Um, I think from a, from a CPAP standpoint and from an apnea standpoint, um, in the general community, we hear a lot about snoring. If you snore, you don't have to snore. You should get that checked out. Um, but in, again, hearing people's stories, um, that, that fatigue that led to depression, that led to mania, that led to all of these things, and the root cause of that was a sleep disorder, that was, that was mind-blowing for me. How can data play a part in sleep hygiene? So we live in an incredibly connected society. We can, you know, text somebody, we can email somebody, we can Snapchat or whatever other, you know, app you want to use to connect with somebody. Um, I, I love the fact that we're finally starting to talk about using some of that connectedness, um, those devices and those apps to get some real world data and some real world evidence on things that um, drive and affect our health. And, you know, as a, as a, Individual and as a patient, I think having my own health data is critically important to understand, you know, my own disease, which is not apnea, but but cancer, um, to coordinate my own care. So in the oncology space, you also see a number of different providers and a number of different specialists. And then to be able to contribute that data to research that, that I want to drive. Um, Specifically in the apnea community, being able to pull data from not only your clinical record, but being able to pull device data and put it into a system that is going to start to look at how can we effectively treat some of these, um, these sleep disorders, but more importantly, how can we identify them early before they've done a significant amount of damage, and how can we identify who's at risk so that we can address it before it's, before it's life impacting. To learn more, Visit sleepapnea.org now.